hi you guys it's crystal from k-hip-hop discussions again and it is officially 2020 yay so i know you guys are gonna look at the title of this video and you guys are gonna be like girl like it's 2020 why are you still making show me the money eight videos there's two reasons one i already committed to it way back in 2019 to make a video for every episode of this season and two i am too good at procrastinating okay i still remember being in korea um in my dorm lounge watching the first episode of show me the money one air show me the money eight air in real time and now it's 2020 the first day and i'm making a show me the money episode video because i haven't finished it yet so anyway long story short for 2020 my one of my main New Year's resolutions is to stop procrastinating so much or stop, period. So if you guys have any resources for that or things that can help me that helped you, then please leave it in the comment section. Oh my God. But that said, now it's time to like actually get into this video so I can finally get Show Me The Money 8 done. Um, I told you guys on my Tumblr that I'm actually not going to be doing um, the full episode anymore. I'm just going to be doing the songs at this point because at this point, like, it's beyond... The episodes and what happened in them are beyond the point. You guys want my opinion on, like, the songs. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The first... Wait, hold on a second. Take it back a little bit. Um, actually, um, this is... Um, December, um, January 1st, 2020, so like you guys might hear fireworks in the back, you might hear my family being loud in the living room. I can't stop any of that, so I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Anyway, back to the video. I wasted two minutes of your time, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so show me the many eight songs. Um, this episode was about the people who had faced each other in the diss battle. Now they have to come together, and instead of like trying to tear each other down, they have to like kind of build each other up and make a song together but still one of them's gonna get eliminated so yeah i didn't watch these songs in order i just um went on youtube and i saw the videos and i clicked on them in the order that i saw them appear so yeah the first song i saw was yunwe versus um yunwe and john yu and that was route 101 and i think the song has a cool vibe and yunwe's voice is really nice and also like John Yu, like, he's so good at rapping, like, <sighs> this was, overall, it was just, like, a cool song, um, I was impressed with it, I enjoyed the performance, um, I actually don't listen to it that much, I listened to these songs, like, a few days back, and, um, the point of listening to them before I watched this video was to, like, watch the live performances as well as like watch the recordings and stuff like that because live performances are usually better than the recording so i wanted to watch the live performance and the live performance of this to me was more interesting than the recorded version so yeah i enjoyed the live version the recorded version i've listened to like once or twice since then but yeah overall it's a good song though so you guys should go watch the videos and you guys should also go listen to the song um yeah next you had mac daddy and bren and they had a song bonnie and clyde and this was the different song of the episode like this is a song that didn't have like almost any singing i don't think it may not have had any singing at all like period so i respected that we'll get more into that later but um i respected that they didn't make the typical show me the money song where everybody's singing um Mad Daddy's flow is insane. Oh my god. He is so good. Um, he has such control. Like, I cannot believe that he was rapping like that on that beat and that fast. And, oh my god. Like, he was killing it. Um, then you have Bren, and there's just something special about her when she comes in for the rap. And I noticed it that when I was listening to the um, the recorded version, she actually doesn't do that. But in the um, live performance version, actually like a second to a millisecond before Mad Daddy finishes rapping, like she comes in with her verse. And it's just, I don't know, the effect is just, I really liked it. It was interesting. It was cool and 
it was special and that's my girl Bryn you know I mess with her that's my girl so song number three sorry if I'm going through these really fast it's just like I can be really long-winded and I, there's like eight songs I want to not make this video 30 minutes sorry um anyway song three is um donut man and punchinello and that song is called pionhe um that means kind of like um actually it's like to be comfortable pionhada or yeah um yeah it's basically to be comfortable but um I guess this is like a more slang term so the English translation of this song is called chill out and they couldn't really name it comfortable anyway even if that isn't the slang version because as you guys know the super famous song from show me the money five comfortable with one Simon D and Gray that's already named comfortable so yeah they named this one chill out um anyway um the Donut Man and Punchinello actually didn't face each other in the disc battle, but Donut Man, the person he faced, got eliminated, and I was chilling, homie. And Punchinello, um, it was him and Jong Yu versus Yoon Wei, but Jong Yu already paired up with Yoon Wei, so he was by himself and he just paired up with Donut Man, who also didn't have a partner. Um, I'm actually sad that Chilling Homie didn't get to be a part of this because I think that Donut Man and Chilling Homie on a track would have been like insane, and I would have loved to see what that was like. But it really doesn't matter because Chill Out is like my favorite song of the episode. It's so good and I keep listening to it um, in recorded version. Like even the recorded version is good. I don't even have to go look at the live version because the, the chorus is catchy AF. Like it's so simple. It's just kibuni, pionte, 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 kibuni. And kibuni pionte just means like the feeling is comfortable or the feeling is chill out or the mood is comfortable or chill out. And so, yeah, it's like you can sing along to it. It's really simple um, and it's just catchy because of how simple it is, you know, and the instrumental is super cool and just, you know, Donut Man and Punchinello, you know, they are two of the best rappers on the show. When I was watching the live version, um, Punch Nello was actually my favorite because, like, you know, he was singing and stuff, and he usually doesn't do that. So, yeah. But after I started listening to the recorded version on Apple Music and stuff, um, Donut Man was actually my is actually my favorite verse now. Um, he says some pretty cool and witty lines, like he gives shouts out to Kid Millie in one of the lines and Cozy Boys, and it's really witty has it how he does it and um also he has a line about like tony montana and say hello to my little friend and it's like really catchy and yeah i like it <laughs> so overall i just really like that song it's really modern and it's really unexpected for both of them because they don't make songs like this but since it's show me the money eight they did and you know i expected something boom bap or just like i don't know just bars like rapping but it's you know it was modern it fit in with the theme of the show so it shows their versatility and things like that next number four that was Lil Tachi versus Seo Don Hyun and their song was called CCTV and this song is like probably my second favorite of the show and um yeah I mean they're both young so they kind of matched well and um, they had a featuring by um, Leela Mars, who I did a video about his last album that you guys can go look at. Um, the song is just super catchy, and I just think it's funny watching Lil Tachi try his hardest to be like a real gangster. Boy, you ain't gangster. Like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> like, I just think he's so funny. Like, he's a wannabe gangster, but like, I love him. Well, I don't love him like I'm not that sold on Lil Tachi yet but I'm starting to like build up an affection towards him as an artist so I mean yeah you ain't a gangster little boy calm down <laughs> um I mean his lyrics are funny and like well they're not really funny on the surface but when you think about it him being like a wannabe gangster that's funny but like 
I don't know, his lyrics just be, and his songs are so, like, catchy and, like, quotable. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Ness is big naughty and, you know, he does what he does, which is a sing-song thing. And I've already talked enough about that in my other videos. Like, there's not much more to say about him. Like, the song was catchy and it fit well for both of them. One thing I want to say, though, is in the live performance, there's, like, a whole chunk of Lil Tachi's rap that's, like, censored out. <laughs> And that's funny as well because like of what I just said about him being overboard and extra about the gangster thing. <laughs> Next is Yoon B and Young B and they have a song called The Truman Show. And again, this is a song that you would not expect from Young B and Yoon B. Um Yoon B is like kind of singing lightly and then Young B is singing as well and you never see that from either one of them um also it's more like a laid back like um more grown up type of song like you know it's kind of chill and I would expect those two to like give you like Donut Man and Punchinello I would expect something like Boom Bap or something that's like heavy hitting like really um bars just bars <laughs> you know what I'm saying but um it's not well, they have bars, like, obviously, but it's not like what you expect, you know? So, I liked the song, and I love when Young B sings. Like, he's the one person on this show who should be singing, because not only is he a great singer, but he never uses it, and he never overdoes it. So, it hasn't overstayed its welcome, so it's good that he's using it as a secret weapon. Okay, so the next song is What Go Child and Takua, and they have a song called Poom. And it's exactly what you would expect from What Go Child and Takua. Like, it's exactly what you would expect from Show Me the Money 8. It's a singing song that's modern and it's fun and it's trendy and stuff like that. Um, yeah, like, it's, there's not much to say about it. Um, the performance was good. And the song overall is just high quality and good. Honestly, I haven't even listened. I think I maybe listened to it like once on Apple Music, but I haven't really felt compelled to listen to it again. Like it's good for like what Woody Go Child and Sakuwa do, but I wasn't like that hot about it. And okay song, um, good for what they do, but you know, it was another singing song and I was just over it. I not completely over it, but I was kind of like, uh, I'm getting tired of it. Anyway, next song is Zina the Zilla and EK, and again, I fully expected, well no, I didn't fully expect it. I fully expected something like this from Zina the Zilla, but I did not expect it from EK. You know, I didn't expect, well, I mean, based on the other songs I heard, I knew that this song was probably going to be the modern style, the style that everybody's doing modern sing-songy type style but at the same time like I didn't ex really expect it from EK but I did expect it yeah <laughs> um if that makes any sense because it probably doesn't but like work with me try like rewatch it if you have to like it's somewhere in there um but anyway yeah it had a good instrumental and um <sighs> EK can rap, and then like also Zine or Zine, I'm just gonna say it the English way. Zine can, um, he held his own against EK, which you wouldn't always expect. I mean, at this point, we should expect it because in the disc battle, he held his own against EK, but um, yeah. Um, either way, it was just a nice mix, and it was a pretty good song. It was pretty chill. Again, I haven't really listened to it again, but it was cool. Um, then finally you have Kim Sungman and Chae B, and there was featuring, um, Joji. Um, so he came out and he sang a bit, but this song was fully expected. Not because it just fit the style of Show Me The Money 8, but because it's like Chae B style, you know? Like, you know, he has these soft, like, um, chill vibe songs, but then like his rap is like really heavy hitting and like, hard like what you would expect from like a boom bap rapper or something um so i like that mixture 
I've always really liked that mixture ever since the episode one, I think, or two. The first episode facing Chael Ch Bian, like, I told you guys, like, I like that style. It's the difference, the opposite put together, like, makes a good style. But for Kim Sungman, this is different because Kim Sungman makes, like, um, like, clubs type songs. So, yeah. Um... Overall, that song was good, but again, I didn't listen to it that much, like, because I just didn't feel compelled, like, to me, the best songs on here are Chill Out by Donut Man and Punchinello and CCTV by Sol Donghyun and Lil Tachi, like, that is it, you know, um, those are just the good songs on this episode. But overall, um, there's too much singing. Too much. And that's why I got tired of it closer to the end with the last three songs. Like, um, it's just too much. And that was a common complaint that I kept seeing people complain about throughout the season. And I was staying on it. Like, guys, no. Like, we like Big Naughty. Like, he's good. He sings, but he raps, but he's good. Um, but... It's like everybody on the show kind of adopted that style now. So now, not only has So Donghyun done it too much, because he's been doing it, spoiler alert, he makes it to episode 10, and he does it every single episode up until 10, from 1 to 10. And so he does it too much without any variation, which I can't fault him for at this point, because he's like really young. So that's that. But then everybody else adopted the style, and they shouldn't have, like... It's too much. It's too much. Um, the only people who should be seen are like people who don't really do it that much. So like Young B, um, and as well like So Don Hyun and Yoon Wei can use it, but they should kind of vary it up. But Young B, I wouldn't be mad if he's saying because like I said, that could be like his secret weapon, cause he never does it. So if it was just him doing it, I wouldn't those few people who like do it and like people who rarely do it if they were doing it then it wouldn't be that big of a deal but it was every song dang in the air like it's too much this is not a singing competition so yeah that's all i had to say um this video was longer than i expected to um i'll have to cut a lot out anyway like, subscribe, watch my other videos, watch my next videos about episode 9 songs and episode 10 songs. And, you know, just have a great day and happy new year to everybody. Um, sorry for procrastinating for so long, but again, give me your tips if you have them. Um, anyway, thanks. Bye, guys. See you in the next one.